Hey yo, what is up guys, Akash here back with another video and today we will be looking at a chip from AI Thinker. AI Thinker is a big Chinese company which manufactures wireless modules like the A6 or the A9. So we will be looking at the A9G. Both of these modules, the A6 and the A9 have a GPRS and a GSM function but they lack one function which is the GPS function. So let's keep the A6 aside for a moment. So consider that you add a GPS module like this one over here for this module to function as one. The answer for this problem is the A9G. Yes, that is correct. So we can get rid of all this mess over here. So this is the A9G. It has a GPS antenna. It has a GSM or GPRS antenna inbuilt. Uh, it's a very powerful uh, $15 module that is available on the back. It has a SIM card slot and it has a micro SD card slot. The A9 also has the same with the micro SD card slot and the SIM card slot, but it does not have the GPS antenna or the GPS module built in. The A9G has that built in. So I was recently working on a project wherein I needed to send GPS coordinates using GPRS to the internet on a HTTP server. Uh, this can be used for TCP, UDP, IP servers as well as well as HTTP servers to transmit or ping any particular server. So that is what we are going to take a look at uh, today. How to do that, how to use the AT commands for GSM, GPRS and GPS. So if you're interested in all that and learning how we can make this module work with GPS, GPRS and GSM, then stay tuned to the video. I have got many PCBs manufactured from PCBWay.com. They are the leading PCB manufacturer from China. They offer 10 PCBs for $5 only. They offer fast turnaround times as fast as 24 hours. Apart from getting PCB manufactured, you can get your PCBs assembled from them for just $30. Do check them out for your PCB related needs. They always have some offer or competition running on their website. Their link will be in the description box below. So let's first closely take a look at the hardware that we have in our hands and what essentially can we do with this. Uh, firstly, there's this USB port that's available over here. The A9G just like any other microcontroller is programmable. You need to uh, lay your hands on a SDK as on the screen right now and uh, the SDK is based on a C code. You need to write some C code, flash your uh, program into the module and then you will be good to go. By default, this A9G module comes with a bootloader firmware you can say, which accepts and uh, transmits AT commands. So you can control this using your any uh, Arduino, your ESP module or your Raspberry Pi. You can use these devices and connect it to this contact the a9g module using at commands and let perform these tasks basically you can get internet and gps connectivity on your devices using the a9g so that is where this comes in handy and so we can take a look at the pinout from the back when you switch it over you first need to insert your sim card for accessing gsm and gprs now, if we take a closer look in, in this side where there's this middle pin missing from the left hand side, we see ground and then we see VCC. So these two pins are ground and VCC and towards the right hand side, this pin is the TX pin and this pin is the RX pin. We also have a RX TX pin over here labeled at as HST underscore RX and HST underscore TX. These two pins are used to upload the bootloader or the firmware onto the module but these two pins which is the TX and RX towards the right hand side are used for sending and receiving AT commands. So essentially these are the pins that we will be using to connect to our uh, uh, USB to serial port. Apart from that there are a lot of GPIO pins that can be control using the A9G. There are a couple of buttons as well. One is a reset button. So this one is the reset button and this one is the power button. So when you power your A9G using the USB cable, you need to keep this button pressed so that the LEDs blink. We have a couple of LEDs as well. One shows the left one shows the GSM or the GPRS uh, 
status and the other one the one on the right shows the gps status so when the right one keeps on blinking that means the gps is on and when the left one is blinking that means the gprs is connected or is switched on we need a jumper cable and we need a usb to serial uh, converter to send out the AT commands to this right now you can also use as I said an Arduino an ESP8266 ESP32 or a Raspberry Pi to send AT commands to this which is a more coded and a more procedural way to do it but uh, yes before that let's first connect the antenna so the GPRS or GSM antenna goes in over there and over here the GPS antenna comes into place like this so it's a pretty satisfying fit because that's a uh, ipex connector you also have a microphone on board so for calling functions you can use the sd gear to activate this microphone to uh, receive calls so it's a pretty neat module i can say once we are done with this i'll quickly connect the ground and the vcc pins over here and I'll connect the RX and the TX over here. Note that this module is a 5 volt module so you need to supply this module 5 volts and the serial port is also 5 volt enabled. So I'll quickly connect the VCC, the ground, the TX is the white wire coming in from here. It will go to the RX of the uh, USB to serial module and the TX of the USB to serial module will go to the RX that is the grey wire of the A9G module. Now we are all set to go. We just need to connect this module to our laptop and let's head over to see what exciting AT commands we can write for this module to function. Uh, I've opened the AI Thinker serial tool that we will require to access the serial monitor to talk to the A9G. All the relevant links of the softwares and the documents and the CDK will be in my GitHub or in my video description link below. So if you are interested in that, do check out the description of the video. So post opening the serial tool, uh, you need to select the COM port, the correct COM port, that's COM3 in my case. You need to select the correct baud rate, which is 115200 and then you need to hit the open serial button. So I've written 80 and now I hit the send button. I receive an OK. This means that I am successfully connected to my module. Another check that we can do is we can dial in the number uh, which is present in the module. So I'll do that quickly. So now as the ring goes, we see that on the AT serial monitor, we receive a tone saying ring ring. You can either accept the call from here or reject it using AT commands. I'll quickly disconnect the call right now from the phone that I was calling from. I will not go into SMS and calling uh, commands today because I saw a lot of tutorials present on YouTube and uh, other platforms as well. But I didn't find many good tutorials on GPS and GPRS so that will be my focus for today. For GPS, the first command that we'll be using is AT plus GPS is equal to 1. This basically enables the GPS and switches on the GPS. So I will send this command quickly. It says OK. Once that is sent, you can see that the bottom LED, which is the GPS LED, it starts blinking at a good frequency. This means that the GPS is on for the module. Now to get the GPS location, we need to type the following command. GPSRD command basically reads the GPS coordinates and the parameter which is 5 right now is the time interval of reading. So I'll quickly send this command to the module. What this command does is after every 5 seconds it will send on the AT command the GPS uh, data. So we have started to see GPS data rolling in into our serial monitor every five seconds. The data that we see right now is in NEMEA format. This needs to be converted using some uh, library on your Arduino or ESP module or you can also use online converters to translate this NEMEA format of uh, GPS data into readable latitude longitude uh, data. To stop this you just need to uh, send in AT plus GP SRD is equal to zero. This will stop the data. I've sent that and it says okay. 
to switch off the GPS, you need to again write the command AT plus GPS is equal to zero. As soon as I type this command, we will see that the bottom LED stops blinking. The top LED is for GSM and GPRS. Now let's quickly try to connect to the GPRS service. To check the status of the GPRS and GSM service, there are a lot of commands present. One of them is AT plus CG reg question mark. So once I send this command, it tells me when the status is 1 comma 1 which is received. That means that we are registered to the network. Similarly, we have AT plus ATT uh, command, CG ATT command which says if it's 1, that means that we are connected to the network as well. So for connecting to the internet, we need to use the APN name and we need to connect to the internet using GPRS. For that, the following command is used which is AT plus CGDCONT is equal to 1 which means we need to connect then the second parameter which is IP is basically uh, the internet protocol that we are connecting to and the third one www is the access point name of the network that I am right now you will have to search for the access point name on the internet for your particular network sim that you will be inserting in the A9G module. Once the OK command comes in from here, this means that we are connected to the internet. The AT plus CSQ command tells what type of network strength are we facing. The first number, the higher it is, the better your network connection is. Once you're connected to the internet, you can send the query AT plus SIP status to know if the IP is connected or not. It says IP initial right now which is a good sign it should not say closed or unavailable to make a http request you need to type in the following command this this request will send a get request to the http server link that you put in the bracket so for example at plus http act equal to www.google.com this will send a get request to google.com with the following link so i'll quickly replace this with my own server link and send this command once I send this command we will want to wait for a couple of seconds before the response arrives so that this is the response that we get in the serial monitor and at the bottom line we get the actual response which is sent by the server so you can read this data and you can uh, use it for your purposes you can also make TCP IP requests to the server. So this was a basic tutorial of what the A9G has to offer to us. There are a lot of AT commands that are compatible with the A9G. The list of the AT commands in a detailed user guide is present uh, as we see on the screen right now. But the problem is that it's present in Chinese. So I will definitely put this in the GitHub page as well and you can uh, download it from there if you can understand Chinese or maybe try to understand Chinese and you can look at the AT commands in the index then see their syntax because that is in English so this is pretty useful. The A6 module from the AI Thinker is also a GSM and GPRS module and all the Commands that work with the A6 work with the A9G as well for GSM and GPRS. So the you can use the A6 AT user guide as well because this is in English and this will help you in understanding what the A9G GSM and GPRS commands can do. So this is a really useful module. Uh, I will link in all the relevant files that I found during my research because I'm also building a new project first time using this module. I found it very interesting. I might also uh, do some hands on on the SDK that is provided for this module for uh, developing software and using it standalone and not using it with an Arduino or ESP8266 for AT command dependency. But yeah, that will happen in the future. Do let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in seeing something like that. But this was a short and simple tutorial of how to access GPRS and GPS feature of this module. So that is it from my side for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now. Also hit the bell icon to stay notified. This is Akash signing off.